Hello everyone! How are you? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we are going to continue our discussion on your Module 5. And this is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Now, let's have the what's in part of your module. Using the information below, construct a pie graph to show how Marlon budget his time each day. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Now, using this data class, we are told to construct a pie graph. If you notice, this was the last week lesson we discussed, right? But then, what's in part kasi ng module is a review no, on our past uh, lesson. That's why it is still included in our module 5. So this time, we will make a pie graph based on the data we have here. Now, para makagawa tayo ng pie graph class, we need to solve the total number of hours here. Kasi number of hours per activity lang ang ibinigay. So wala siyang total. Importante na malaman natin yung total number of hours para malaman din natin yung percent. At saka yung angle measure. Yung percent ay kakailanganin natin para makuha yung angle measure ng ating pie graph. Now, 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 is equal to, yes, that's 24 hours. Now, para makuha natin yung percent, each activity, i-divide natin yung 24 hours. So, we have here in school, this is 6 divided by 24. So, we have 6 hours divided by 24. Kung i-divide mo yan, class, ang equal niyan ay 0 0.25. Now, para makuha yung percent, of course, we have to change this decimal form into percent. And how will you do that? We will multiply this by 100. Okay? So, we have now here 25%. So, 25% ang ilalagay natin dyan. Next, punta tayo sa household chores. So, ang 5 hours ang intended for household chores. Kung i-divide natin yung 5 sa 24, it will give you 0 0.21 times 100 and that makes it 21%. So, kung may mga, meron tayong mga repeating or non-repeating decimal quotient, i-round off natin sa hundreds place. Now, just like we did here. Okay? So, we have assignment. Assignment naman ay 2 hours. So, 2 divided by 24 yan. And that makes 0 0.08. And times 100, that makes it 8%. Next, we have leisure and sports. So, 3. 3 hours divided by 24 magiging 0 0.125 or 125. Imumultiply natin yan sa 100. That makes it 12.5%. Next, sleep and rest. We have 8 divided by 24. And that makes it 0.33. So, i-round off lang natin yan, class, no? Para hindi masyadong mahaba yung ating sagot. Times 100%. So, that makes it 33%. Now, if you notice, class, medyo hindi siya 100%. No? I-add mo yan, hindi yan mag magwa 100%. Mga 99.5 lang yan. Para naging 100% talaga, pwede natin, if you notice here, class na no, siya lang yung decimal number na percent, ba? So, para maging 100% talaga yung ating makukuha, pwede natin itong i-round off. No, i-round off natin ito into 13%. Okay? Yan. Round off natin yung leisure na part or activity. So, magiging 13% na yan para yung sagot natin dito 100% talaga. Okay? Walang butal. Now, so if we will solve now the me angle measure, yung percent na nakuha natin, multiply natin ito sa 360. Correct. 
So, we have in school, 360 times, i-convert natin ito sa decimal class. Yes, that's 0.25%. So, i-multiply natin yung 360 times 0.25, magiging 90 degrees yan. Okay, 90 degrees. Next, household chores, we have 360. Okay, yung 360 class, ginamit natin yan kasi yan yung angle measure ng buong circle. Nagagawin natin mamaya, no? We will plot all this data sa ating circle graph or pie graph. Yung chores natin class is 21%, so i-decimal natin 'yan, that makes it 0.21. At saka i-multiply natin 'yan, magiging 75.60 degrees ang equivalent niyan. Next, punta tayo sa assignment. Assignment naman is 2 hours. So, that makes 8% no, ng 24 hours. So, 360 times 0.08. At ang resulta niya ay 28.80 degrees. Next, punta tayo sa leisure and sports. We have 360 times 0.13. That would be equal to 46.80 degrees. Punta tayo sa sleep and rest, which is 33%. So, 360 times 0.33 magiging... 118.80 degrees. So, kung inototal mo lahat yan, class, ang resulta niyan ay 360. So, kumpleto na ang ating data para makagawa tayo ng ating pie graph. Okay, the first step is to make a circle. Para makagawa tayo ng perfect circle, mas mabuti na gagamit tayo ng compass. Just like you see here on the screen, right? Okay, we will measure first 90 degrees for in school here. Para magawa natin yan, maglalagay muna tayo ng guide dito. Okay? We will mark the center of our circle para may guide tayo kung saan natin ilalagay yung center ng ating protractor. Okay? Ito na yung protractor natin, class. Ito yung center niya. At ang gagamitin natin, ito yung nasa ilalim ng mga numbers. Okay? Sige. So, we have here zero. Yan. Ito yung zero natin. At saka ilolocate natin yung 90. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1
Okay, ito yung center niya. So, 46.80, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So, between ng 40 at saka 50, dyan nakalagay yung ating 46.80. Yan. Okay? So, kunin natin yung protractor at magawa tayo ng line. So, this is 46.80. And of course, yung slip and rest would be 118.80. Ito na yung class, yung natitira. Na? So, this would be 118.80. So, kunin natin yung mga degrees class kasi hindi, hindi na ka kailanganin i-reflect dyan sa ating pie graph. What are reflected in our pie graph is the label, the activities. Pwede rin mga percent. Pwede natin ilagay yung percent. Okay? Ilagay natin yung number of hours dito class sa ating uh, pie graph. For school, we have 6 hours. Ito yon. Household chores, 5 hours. Assignment, 2 hours. Leisure and sports, 3 hours. And sleep and rest, we have 8 hours. Okay? Importantly, we have to give a title of our uh, pie graph. And we can have the title of this as Marlon's Activities in a Day. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. Kung gusto mong mapanood ang susunod na video lesson natin, yung part 3 na video lesson para sa inyong module 5, pwede mong i-click yung link na yan na nasa itaas. Okay? Thank you so much! See you next time, everyone!